All right, guys. So I'm back. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So this is welcome uh, again. Thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Let me share my screen. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't notice until very late. <laughs> I don't worry. It's Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the body knows. Let's say. Right? <laughs> the body knows. All right, very good, very good, very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, I need a volunteer. Gabriela, thank you for joining us. Raul, Raul Arana. How are you doing? Uh, help me read the instructions, please. Let's go. Hello. Oh, thanks. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use adjectives and nouns to make comparisons. Very good job. Very good job. Actually, beautiful pronunciation. Hey, one, one clap for him. All right. Very good. Very good. Matando mosquitos. One clap. All right. All right very good. All right. Very good. All right. Um, so let's watch a video, guys. And uh, I need you to do me a favor right now. Grab your notebook. Okay. So grab your notebook. So, all right. Hey, let me ask you something, guys. Do you already have the link for the videos? For the uploaded yes. videos? Okay, very good. Very good. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to... Give me one second. Let's go to... He's right here. There you go. Compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Or maybe you're considering working as a doctor or a nurse. So a doctor has worse hours than a nurse. So in order to express these ideas, we need to use adjectives and nouns to make these comparisons. So let me do the following. Let me just uh, present the structure. But uh, before we do that, what I would like to do is present this um, comparison structures. Uh, let me just quickly point out that um, all the comparisons that we're going to do in this class and also the following, we're, we're just going to use this few comparisons, as you can see. We're going to use these words to make the comparison. So as you can see, we could say more. And um, here in the middle, we will include an adjective, uh, and um, and then we'll include then, and that will make the comparison there. Um, on the other hand, we can use less, and at the same time, we'll use an adjective there. Um, so a quick example: um, being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant, okay? or being an accountant is less interesting than being a fashion designer, and so on and so forth. Um, I guess also, um, since I pointed out a doctor, a doctor has worse hours than a nurse, or a nurse has better hours than a doctor. Uh, and then we're going to use this um, other words here to point out that they might have similar hours, that they might be the same or that they might not be the same. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this class. So let's try to make the comparison with, between two jobs. Um, what we'll do is we'll select this first two as you can see here. So we have this one looks like a lawyer and picture number two looks like a mechanic. So let's make the comparison between lawyer and a mechanic. Before we do that, we want to have some uh, work related adjectives in mind such as stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting then all right guys so let me ask you something are you writing down the the adjectives me and me to you all are you ready yeah are you, okay are you writing down the the adjectives very good very good very good okay mm -hmm. all right all right let's continue then okay and of course there are many more but because of time we're not going to go through um a lot of other adjectives uh, and we also want to have 
uh, or we want to consider work related uh, nouns so what are nouns there's just people places or things right so in this case when we think about jobs we want to think about things like hours how many hours you work education uh, how much education do you have uh, work uh, is your job does your job consist of doing a lot of work right uh, and these are the kind of things that we want to keep in mind in order for us to make uh, these comparisons. So what can we say about a lawyer versus a uh, versus mechanic between mechanic. those two? Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <laughs> stressful than working as as a mechanic and then so we will use an adjective in this case I decided to use the adjective stressful uh, and it's I think it's also important to mention that this is an an opinion right so my opinion could be different than yours you could think the opposite of this so I, I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful but it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful right and the way that we do it is well we notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases so working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic um, at the same time, you could uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer, um, and that's in essence is basically the same sentence, right? But it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. Here we go. And the reason I did this is because I quickly wanted to point out that we can use either more um, or we could also use less, right? So what else could we say about a lawyer and a mechanic? Is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So if I absolutely love cars, then definitely I think that working as a mechanic is very interesting. So in this case, I wanted to point this one out uh, because I want to express that both jobs are the same. So to me, both jobs um, have the same level, if you will, right? They are the same. One is not better than the other. Uh, and again, this is my opinion. Um, because I love cars and I also think that um, uh, lawyers are interesting and the work that the lawyers do is very interesting so again I want to point out that in this case I'm using adjectives to make the comparisons what I want to do next is use nouns to make the comparisons so what kind of nouns can we think about when uh, we think about comparing these two jobs well previously I mentioned that we can think of things like hours maybe education uh, or perhaps the type of work that people do so well lawyer and mechanic it, it usually is the case that a lawyer has more education than a mechanic right so uh, in this case we can say that a lawyer has more education uh, than a mechanic uh, this is the noun that I am using to compare. What else can we say about the two jobs? Well, um, I, I could probably say that a mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. Okay, and in this case, as you can see, I used the one here in the middle better, and in the middle, I included uh, the noun to make the comparisons, right? So the noun that I'm using to compare its hours. At the same time I could say a lawyer has worse hours than a mechanic. Okay. Uh, and perhaps I could say that 
working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. So, all right, very good job, guys. Okay, so let's wake up. Let's wake up. Okay, <laughs> let's wake up now. All right, very good. All right, so real quick, Guillermo. All right, you got seconds to tell, tell me an adjective. Three, two, one, go. Guillermo, too slow. Let's go, Anna. Mm, difficult. Difficult. No, difficult. Is difficult an adjective? Maybe. Well, it's stressful. <laughs> Okay, stressful. Very good job. Okay, Aneda, let's go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good job. Uh, Roxana, go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. All right. Uh, let's go, Mr. Raul. Oh, there you go. Easy. Easy. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Let's go, Irene. Oh, hold on. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> I'm meeting you and you're meeting yourself back again, right? Uh, Irene, too slow. Let's go, Jose. Jose, you're muted, right? Gabriela, give me an example. Uh, about the doctor? No, 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 no. Adjectives, okay? Remember, adjectives. Give me an adjective, okay? Uh huh. Five, four, three, two, one. Too slow, Gabriela. Let's go, Irene. Let's go. It's slow. Okay, pronunciation, Angel. How do you say uh, lento? Slow. Okay, slow. everyone, everyone, slow. 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 Okay, very good, slow. very good, very good, very good. All right. Uh, let's see, Mr. Raul, another one. Another adjective? Yeah, another one, another one, huh? Fascinating. Fascinating. Very good job. Very good. And lastly, Nubia. Let's go. Uh, Nubia is muted. Gabriela, let's go. Give me uh, the last adjective. The, the last adjective. Huh? Give me another one. Fa uh, stressful. All right. Stressful. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. Now, guys, let's get some new vocabulary. Write it down in your nub. Okay. Everyone repeat after me. Point out. Point out. Point out. All right, it's point out or point out, okay? All right, point, what is the meaning point of point out, out uh, Guillermo? What is the meaning of point out? Oh. Hold on, hold on, I'm sorry, I admitted you. What is it? Point. What is point the meaning now. point out, yes. Ah, too slow, let's go, Ana. Uh, punto afuera. Nah. Ah, there you go, Eneida, let's go. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, very good, right? To point out, guys, is to, um, let me give you an example, okay? In English, because I was going to translate it, but Spanish, satanic, okay? Satanico. All right. Uh, <laughs> to point out, guys, is like to do this, okay? I'm going to point out something. Uh, basically, to point out is to bring, bring something forth. That's even worth, right? <laughs> bring forth. All right. Um, to point out is, is to indicate something, okay? Got it? Got it, got it, got it? Okay. Right. Um, to highlight something. Do you know what the meaning of highlight is? Uh-huh. Okay, highlight yes. is? Okay, very good, very good. Because okay, so that's the meaning, mm -hmm. okay? Very good. Yes. Everyone, everyone repeat. So on, so on and so forth. So on and so forth. Okay, let me hear each one of your beautiful voices. So on and so forth. So no, and so far. Very good job, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coronavirus. I got a sneeze. <laughs> oh, it didn't Coronavirus. Come out. It, didn't come out. it didn't come out, right? So never mind, never mind, all right? All right, so now uh, that means, guys, like saying et cetera, okay? You can say so on, so on, and so on, okay? It means et cetera. It means, what, what, what is the meaning of that, Jose? Jose. Yeah. Etc. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. That is so on and so on or so forth. Okay. Amen. Beautiful job. All right. Everyone, if you will. All right. Hold on. Let me hear your beautiful voices. If you will. If, if, you, will. if you will. Beautiful job. Okay. If you will means si quieres. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. Like, or if you may. All right. Beautiful job. All right. Um, bring forth, guys, is to bring something to 
to your attention, okay? Uh, highlight is, well, um, um, remarcar algo. I, I don't think that was the right translation, but it means to do this, okay? To do this, for example, I'm highlighting the word highlight, okay? All right, so let's take a look at comparisons with, um, comparisons with verbs and past participles, okay? Let's go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following. A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs. Remember, guys, grab your notebooks and write everything down, okay? Vocabulary, structure, and things like that. I've also sent you some information to the WhatsApp group. All right, let's continue. And participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, earn, travel, or work. Right, uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns. So we're going to put uh, we're going to put the verb there before uh, the more, okay? Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. Right? We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases is um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer you can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see right um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer. We're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is 
better paid than a nurse. Right, so we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse. And uh, literally, we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb paid. Um, and if we want to make the comparison between the teacher and the police officer, and we want to s express that they are kind of like on the same level as far as pay, then we can simply say um, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. All right. So I'm going to kind of cut it short here, guys. Um, hey, I told you the meaning of cut it short. What is the meaning of cut it short, um, Irene? What is it, Irene? All right, uh, guys, uh, Nubia, Elisa, Gabriela, Raul. All right, if you, have, uh, if you have a camera, please turn it on, okay? Uh, Irene, so what is, it, what is the meaning of... Uh, Cut it, cut it short, cut something short. Ah, too, too slow, okay, too slow, all right, no problem, no problem, all right. Good job, now, uh, to cut something short is to interrupt, guys, okay, so I'm sorry to cut you short, right? Very good, very good, very good, very good. All right, guys, so, let's get started, okay? Give me one second, I hear a lot of uh, noise in the background. All right. All right, guys. So I sent you, I sent you some WhatsApp images. All right. Uh, I sent you some image, some Im I, I sent you some images to WhatsApp right now, so you can use them as, as examples, okay? Because uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on these uh, exercises right now. Now, guys, do you remember what a past participle is? Nubia, give me an example of a past participle. Nubia, have ever been past participle? All right, too slow, Nubia. Gabriela, let's go. Example of example of par participle. Yes, uh-huh. Mm. Um, weekly? Weekly, weekly. Is that no, that's not a past participle, okay? Uh Ineda, let's go. Uh past participle. Yes. Um we have been studying adjectives. Okay. All right, uh, Ben is the past participle, okay? Very good job. Uh, so guys, past participle is the third form of the verb, okay? Uh, let's see, remember to unmute yourself, guys. Remember to, um, this is the right? Unmute yourself. Uh, Jose, all right, what is, the, what is the simple past of run? Run. Run. Nope, Jose. Run. Run. Okay. Run. Now Run. that's not the simple past. Okay, Roxana, what is it? Run. No, that's not the simple past. Okay. Uh, let's see, Angel. The run. run. Angel, what is the simple <clears throat> past? Uh, for for me, it's wrong. Oh, run. No. Okay, guys, it's ran. Okay. Now, what is the past participle form? Uh, Anna. What is the past participle of run? Run, run. Very good job, okay? So it's run, 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 got it? Let's see another example, okay? Those are regular verbs. Uh, what about, uh, what about sleep, right? What is the simple past of sleep? Of sleep? Uh -huh. uh, Guillermo? Or, 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 those hours. Uh, 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 okay. All right. It is slept, right? Now, guys, el past participle es la tercera forma de un verbo, okay? We use it when we're talking, for example, in uh, perfect tenses. Sleep, sleep, slept. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly, right? We use, for example, when, we, like, when we're talking in perfect tenses, such as past perfect, present perfect, future perfect. Uh, so that's what we use uh, past participle for, okay? All right. So... Mm -hmm. Let's get together, guys, okay? 
This is very, very, very easy. So I'm gonna give you three minutes. You're gonna have three minutes and let's uh, let's solve this, okay? In, in groups, okay? Uh, two and three, it's okay. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Okay. All right, so, oh, you are not watching my screen, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, hold on. It's 2.8, guys, 2.8. All right, guys. No, the act I, I needed I to do like is is uh, two point eight, okay? El dos punto ocho. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. I sorry. I thought I had. Uh, I was sharing the screen, and I wasn't. Two point right. ocho. Yeah, ocho. Two point eight. Okay. All right. Yeah, Guillermo. Guillermo and Jose. Okay, I'm sorry. The exercise that I needed to do. Hey, Jose. Nice to nice to see you there. All right, so the exercise that I needed to work on is uh, exercise 2.8, okay? 2.8, got it? Got it, Guillermo? Yeah. yeah. Got it, Jose? Yeah. 2.8. Uh-huh, very good, very good, very good, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you By the way, yeah, I'm sorry, the, the exercise, I'm sorry to cut you short. Uh, the exercise that I want you to do is the one, uh, 2.8, okay? Got it? Dos uh, punto Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's just that I thought I was sharing the screen and I wasn't. I'm sorry. All right. Teacher. Tell me. I continue my problem with the platform. Jonathan wrote me uh, in the in the afternoon, mm -hmm. but no working my platform. Okay. All right. So ask uh, Gabriela. Gabriela, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Very good. Okay. Hey, Gabriel, do you, do you have a camera? Yes. <laughs> ah, ah, you have a camera, okay? Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, okay? Ah, okay. Ah, I can see. Duerme usted, por eso que no le gusta extenderla. Ahí está acostada, ¿sí? No, y no. Ah, no, y no. Me vi en escritorio. All right, you, you fell asleep. You, you fell asleep <laughs> on, the, on the desktop. Okay, okay, guys, so... Um, do my favor, Gabriela, share your screen with uh, Eneida so uh, you can work on that, okay? Please. <laughs> All right, yes. Thank you, teacher. No uh, problem. Okay, but yo estoy en Zoom, pero en el teléfono, pero en la plataforma la tengo en la compu. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a, you know what? Um, use your Madre camera. Madre, use your tell camera. me the picture yeah. about... Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Use your camera. Take a picture of the screen <laughs> in the computer. It sent me a... All right, I, I'm going to check on the other groups, right? Good job, good job, good job. Roxana, all right, Roxana and Irene. Hey, the exercise the exercise that I needed to do, guys, is uh, 2.8, okay? It's el 2.8, got it? Ah, okay. Thank okay, you. I'm sorry. I thought that I was sharing the screen before. That's why I didn't... That's why I... I um, you got confused, okay. I'm sorry. All right, okay. uh, Raul, all right. So, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the exercise that I needed to finish is exercise 2.8, okay? Yes. On the platform. Okay, very good, very good, very good. All right, Elisa, hold, uh, Raul, do you have a camera? No, sorry. I am in my desktop, and okay. I don't have a camera, but for Monday, I can connect uh, to the group in my cell phone. Okay, good job, Elisa. Do you have a camera? Uh, yes, uh, okay. for a minute. All right, turn it on. Thing is, guys, that if you um, if you have your camera off, I don't know if you're sleeping. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I'm nice, here. To nice to see you again, Lisa. Huh? You were afraid to show your face, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay. So, work, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna check on the other groups right now. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so how are we doing? Mm, fine. We finished. Okay, all right. Nubia and Maya, how are you doing? Oh, Nubia Maya. Ah, she's finished. All right, so you finished? Very good, okay? Uh, do my favor, guys. If you finished, tell mm -hmm. the person next to you, because I have uh, other people coming by. You know what? Let's let's go back, because it's already time. Never mind. All right, let's reach.
All right, guys, so how are you doing? Did you finish? Did you finish, Shaneda? Uh, Neda has issues. Hey, Neda, I think, um, I don't know. I don't know what's what's really going on with your with your camera, but if, if you have issues, maybe it's from your end. Uh, are you having issues logging in or is it something else? What? Repeat, teacher. Are, are you having issues logging in or is it something else? Um, tra Traduzcame. <laughs> No, que se está teniendo problemas uh, logueándose o es, es otra cosa. No, 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 no. Es, es que mi plataforma no funciona, no me he podido conectar en toda la semana. Ok, ok, ok. All Pero right, ya le escribí uh, a Jonathan y me contestó que con qué correo había ingresado. Yo le dije que, que con mi correo del trabajo, pero no me contestó nada después. Eso fue en la tarde. Okay, all right, no problem. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's continue, guys. Let's continue, okay? All right, so let's go, Angel. Uh, tell right, me. What, what is, okay, so you got three seconds to tell me what is the answer for number one, okay? Let's go. Um, the, the answer is travels more than Okay. Eight. Give me the whole sentence, okay? Read the whole sentence, the whole answer, okay? <clears throat> three, two, uh, one, I, go. As a secret agent uh, travels more than a more than what? Excuse me. Con say it again. Say it again. <clears throat> no, it's mas. Uh, as a secret agent travels more than police officer. Very good job. Okay, now pronunciation, guys. Everyone, a secret agent. A secret agent. Agent. Okay. Agent. Travels. 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 More than. More than. More than. A police More officer. Than. A police more officer. More officer. Okay, now influence. A secret agent travels more than a police officer. A secret agent. A secret agent travels more than a police officer. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, All right. All right, uh, thank you, Angel. Let's go, Anna. <clears throat> An air traffic control control show is less artist than a TV director job. Okay, is less artist? Artistic. Artistic than. Okay, all right. A TV director job. Okay, so very good. Now, beautiful job, Anna. Good job. I like that uh, you, know, you know the grammar of it. But pronunciation, we need to work on our pronunciation, okay? So really, let's repeat, guys. An air traffic controller's job. An air traffic, an air traffic con controller's control job, job. Is less artistic. Is less artistic. Than a TV director's job. Than a TV, than a, a TV director, director's job. Very good job, very good job. Okay, so now with fluency. An air traffic controller's job is less artistic than a, t uh, than a TV director's job. An air traffic controller's ah, job. You cannot <laughs> sing, you have to sing, you have to sing, okay. An air traffic controller's job. It's like tongue twister. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a tongue twister, you're right about that, okay? Now guys, um, so let me give you a tip here, okay? Oh, the, sh the screen, the screen, the screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So now, let me give you a tip here, okay? So, um, this word, like, like traffic, for example, guys, if you want to talk about traffic, that word that at the end, right? Just pretend that you already have coronavirus, okay? Like traffic, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Okay. And no, guys, uh, for real, okay? So tip number one for that, guys, is to exaggerate okay that was bad that was bad okay you need to exaggerate okay let me write it down here okay hold on okay okay all right there you go okay so over here okay you need to exaggerate okay ustedes se exageran cuando están hablando y les juro que van a mejorar sus sus esos sonidos pronunciation exactly mm -hmm. pronunciation okay porque en español guys uno no a uno le vale le valen los sonidos finales right dicen traffic uh uh, artistic, verdad? Exactly. <laughs> no, you have to. You have to. You say nay. My nay is right. Nay. My okay. nay. Same. All right. Yeah. 
American people, they do understand it. They're like, what's a name, right? Name. Right? So things they don't that. know what. Exactly, 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 okay? All right, so anyhow, let's uh, let's move on, okay? All right, so uh, it's less artistic then. Very good job, okay? Now, uh, number three, Jose. Landscapers uh, have less education than veterinary. Okay, have less education than veterinary. Okay, very good job, bro. Hey, applause for Jose, guys. Super, super good. All right, Jose. Jose, now here's the thing, Jose. Pronunciation, okay? Everyone, landscapers. 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 Yes, guys, uh, remember, open your mouth. Tienen que abrir la boca, right? Landscapers. Landscapers. All right, try to smile when you're talking. That's going to help you open your mouth, okay? Landscapers have less education than veterinarians. Have less educations. Veterinarians. Very good job, very good job. Veterinarians. Beautiful job. Okay, number four. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jose. Gabriela, go. Number four. Um, working as a comedian is harder than being a public speaker. Okay, harder than being a public. You want public? Public. Okay, public. Public. Okay. Public. public. Very good job, okay. All right, uh, Gabriela, pick yes. someone, pick someone as handsome as uh, Brad Pitt. Wow. Um, I'm comparing, right? I'm comparing. I'm using a comparative right now, right? Uh, igualmente guapo que Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, as handsome um, as, as handsome as, okay? Continue. Handsome. As handsome as a as handsome as um, um, Raúl. <laughs> Let's go, Raúl. <laughs> wow, Raúl. Raúl, let's go. Ah, Raúl, dijeron algo good bien. Day. <laughs> okay. Okay, the last one. Aerobic instructor earn less than soccer coaches. Beautiful job, earn less, okay? Let's see, let's see your answer. Oh, then, 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 yeah. then, then, sorry, 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 okay. Harder than being, it's uh -huh. harder than being, I'm sorry. Okay, very good, very good job, guys. Okay, easy peasy. Very, okay. very good, a plus for you guys, super, super good, right? A plus for us, yeah. Very good, very good, very good. All right, guys, so, tip, guys. Um, you can study grammar, watch the videos again, but I, I need you to practice with other people, okay? You're not going to improve if you don't practice talking, okay? All right, so let's let's practice talking. Okay, now let's watch the the next video and uh, let's let's uh, fill out the answers. I mean, let's respond to the answers. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete the quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. 
So, what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from two in the afternoon until eleven at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to. All right, good job, guys. So now I hope that you took notes, guys, because you're gonna solve the the answers. Okay, now before we do that, guys, everyone repeat after me: waiting the tables. Waiting the tables. Okay, that means, guys. Do you know what a waiter is? Waiting. Do you know what a waiter is? Everyone, waiter. Waiter. waiter, okay, a waitress, or waitress, okay, or waiter. if you don't know, if you don't know, wait person, wait person, okay, the wait person, wait person, okay, so that is un mesero or mesera, right? Uh huh. Very good job. Okay. All right, so waiting the tables, guys, is basically haciendo tu trabajo de mesero. Got it? Okay. Very good. Okay. Everyone drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Me enloquece, okay? Me, me, me vuelve loco, okay? All right, like uh, to your husband. Some people drives me crazy. Okay, very good. Like your husband, right? Or, or, or boyfriend? <laughs> no. No? No, no, he doesn't? No. No. All right, that's, that's good, that's good. All right, very good, very good. All right, uh, what about, uh, what about persuade? They want persuade. 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 Okay, persuade is... Uh, Having a yes. silver tongue. Do you know what a silver tongue is? Thank you. And a silver tongue. Silver tongue. Huh? Uh -huh. Someone I, that, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Continue. Go. No. Someone that that makes that you do that they want to do. Something no. like that. No. Oh, actually, kind of, kind of like that. Kind of like that. Okay. Right. Something like a that. Silver, uh -huh. silver tongue, guys, is ser pajero. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tener labia. All right. That's mm -hmm. I have a silver tongue. All right. Okay. All right sellers. Very it's sellers. Very good. Okay. Pronunciation one. Bunch. Repeat, guys. Bunch. 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 A bunch is a synonym for. For for what? Like a bunch. It's I a syn know. It's a synonym of lots of. Okay, lots of. A lot. A lot. lot. Uh -huh, exactly. A lot. A lot or lots of, okay? A lot. Okay. So it's a synonym for that, right? All right, very okay. good, very good, very good, okay? All right, guys, so uh, let's work on this exercise. You have five minutes. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on. There you go. Go, 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 go. Okay. okay. All right, Nubia, let's join our room, okay? Thank you. Oh. Carlos do. Carlos do. Is Carlos is tutor. Tutor. No. Yes. All right. Pronunciation, guys. Yes. Tutor. Everyone, tutor. 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 No, tutor. 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 Very good job. All right, continue. Good job, guys. You're doing great. What? 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 Con la plataforma. 
Ok. Con la plataforma. Plataforma. No Spanish, no Spanish, guys, no Spanish, ok. I have a problem with the platform. There you go, there you go, ok. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. It's just that every time that you're speaking Spanish. Angel is so kind because he uh, explained the sentence and and um, uh, he have uh, he have he have el ya tiene hecho el ejercicio. Okay, okay. He has already. Okay, he has he has finished the exercise already. Okay, repeat. He has finished. He has finished the exercise. The exercise already. Already. Very good job, Angel. Very good. Very good. Okay. High five. Congratulations. <laughs> high five. High five without trans. Without uh, infecting you with coronavirus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job. Now, guys, talk, 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 talk. Okay, in English. All right. Talk about talk. Talk about the past. Talk about your childhood. Angel and Eneida, talk about your childhood. You know, when okay. I was a child, I used to play with my friends. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> um, the, the, is the, the number two? Hello, guys. How are you doing? Do you have issues? All good? Uh, just uh, question number three is repeated, but any oh. problem? With it? Okay, okay, very good. Did you finish? I think you finished, right? Let's head back. Let's head back, okay? Oh. Okay. Two questions. Left. Tell me, tell me, okay. Do you have a question? Number three is. Number three is what? Step consistent. I'm Number sorry. Three, four. <laughs> Number three, four, what? <laughs> there are two uh, questions, three. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Raul said. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on, let's go back, guys. Okay. Hello, guys. How are you doing? All right. Did you finish the exercise? Yeah. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. So now. Uh, once again, once again, okay, now let's start from the bottom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Share the screen. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the exercises, guys. Okay, uh, let's see who's going to be my victim today. All right, let's start with uh, Raul. Let's go. Answer for number one. Raul. All right, Raul. Okay, let's start sorry, with. Sorry, I, I, I knew this. Okay, no problem. What what kind of job mm -hmm. does Carlos do? Perfect pronunciation, go. He's tutor okay. for kids. Very, very good job, okay. Super good. All right, Novia, three, two, one, go. Number two. Okay. What kind of job does. Julia, do beautiful pronunciation. She is, she is telemarketing agent. Okay, pronunciation, guys. Of uh, agente, how do you pronounce that? Agent, very good job. Agent. One more time, one more time, one more time. Uh, Nubia, agent, very good, agent, right? Very good. Agent. Okay. Agent. A plus for agent. Nubia, guys. A plus for Nubia, okay? Thank you, Aww. very good, very good, okay. I'm sorry if you're in the bathroom, Nubia. Since I can't see you, I don't know if you're in the bathroom or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, next one. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Next one. Um, Elisa, let's go. Hello. Uh, what kind of jobs does Paul do? Okay. What kind? See? Ah. Of kind. What kind? What kind? What kind? What kind? Beautiful job. What kind? Okay, one more what time. Kind. What kind what of kind. job does Paul do? Beautiful job. Hey, applause for Elisa, guys. Super, super good. Plus. Yes. Now, assistant. guys. 
Beautiful job. Now, guys, do you know what a drama queen is? <laughs> okay. Hey, you, if you want to improve drama final queen. sounds, you have to be a drama queen, right? Una dramática. Okay. Yeah. All right. Drama queen. Okay. Very good. Okay. So he's a what? He's a what? What is number three? I'm sorry. Tutor chef. For a chef assistant. Chef. Okay. Very good. Chef assistant. Very good. Uh, number three. Number three, the same. Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And number four? Yeah. Oh. Number four is? The, the third one. Paul doesn't like. Okay. The first one. First. Everyone the repeat. One. First. No, don't say fierce. First. No. Yes, Firpo. No. First. Not talking about Firpo. First. 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 First, first one. First, first one. one. Okay, let's see. Hey, good job, guys. A plus for you. A plus for you. Super good. You guys, a plus. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, good job, guys. This is where we're going to uh, take off today. Well, tonight. Okay. Because I got another class coming up. Guys, uh, hey. You connected very early, so thank you very much for that, guys. I was not expecting that. That's a beautiful surprise. Tomorrow, guys, we'll continue with the exercise. Remember that um, you can you can watch the videos online, right? You got the. You tomorrow got the... we will. Ha oh, no, I'm we... sorry, not tomorrow. I ah, forgot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, Monday. Classes Monday. on Friday. On Friday, no, we don't no, have please. on Monday. Yeah, Monday. on Friday. Friday, no classes. Friday, just beers, right? Friday, we are free. <laughs> Friday is beer day. It's yeah. my beer day. Now. Oh, really? No, no, no. Beer day. Like, ah. cerveza. Beer day, right? Ah, beer day. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. The other one is birthday. <laughs> birthday. Just you, kidding. You're right. Kidding. Okay. All right, guys. So, <laughs> all right. Enjoy, guys. Have a beautiful evening. And um, I'll, see you. You. I'll see you next week, okay? Okay. okay. Goodbye, you. teacher. Goodbye. Have fun. Bye. 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 Bye.